only in Italy can you get an instant coffee machine where it grinds the beans to order. Judge on MasterChef Australia, chef and author Jacques Zanfrillo passed away at age 46. On Monday, his family shared the news that our irreplaceable husband, father, brother, son, and friend had passed away in Melbourne the previous day. The reason of death was not disclosed. A representative for the Victoria Police Department stated that the death was not being viewed as suspicious. The coroner will receive a report after it is finished. Although Network 10 had previously announced that the new season of MasterChef Australia would premiere on Monday night, the show will not be airing until next week. With completely shattered hearts and without knowing how we can possibly move through life without him, Zon Frillo's family wrote in a statement after his death, We are at a loss for words at the moment, but know that there are countless ways to describe him and countless tales to tell. Remember this proud Scott with your next glass of whiskey in honor of everyone who crossed his path, became his companion, or was blessed enough to be his family. British chef Jamie Oliver posted a photo of himself and Zon Furlow on the set of MasterChef Australia, along with the caption, so excited, for the new season, only hours before Zon Furlow's death was confirmed. Several former MasterChef competitors, including Laura Sherrod, Sarah Chiang, Depinder Chibber, Minoli De Silva, and Reynold Pornomo, have paid tribute to the chef on social media. Pornomo has said he is shocked by the news. He said on Zon Furlow's Instagram, Rest in peace, chef. My heart and condolences to loved ones. Several chefs, including Colin Fasnage, Rashin Kahl, and Dan Hong, expressed their condolences. As longtime culinary reviewer Pat Norse put it, this is devastating. Hong wrote of Zon Furlow's passing. We've been dealt a terrible blow by his death. In a statement, Network 10 and MasterChef Australia's production company, Endemol Shine Australia expressed their deep shock and sadness at the unexpected death of one of their own. Peter Newman, CEO of Endemol Shine Australia, said, On set he was loved by the team and his passion for food, and the show was infectious. He was also a fantastic supporter of the MasterChef competitors and genuinely cared about them. The entire MasterChef cast and crew will miss him terribly. At this time of loss, our hearts go out to his loved ones. Glasgow native Barry Zonfrillo, born 1976, started his career in food service as a dishwasher at the tender age of 13. At the age of 15, he dropped out of school to become one of the hotel's youngest apprentices. According to his memoir Last Shot, published in 2021, Zonfrillo began working for renowned British chef Marco Pierre White when he was just 17 years old, despite being unhoused and addicted to heroin at the time. When he was only 22, he was named head chef at the Tresantin Hotel in Cornwall. In 2000, Zonfrillo was promoted to head chef at Sydney's 41, but he was fired in 2002 when he allegedly lit fire to an apprentice's trousers as punishment for being too sluggish. According to Zonfrillo, it was all a bad practical joke. Martin Kramer, an 18-year-old trainee, sued his employer Zon Frillo in 2007 and was awarded $75,000. Zon Frillo filed for bankruptcy that same year. Restaurant Arana, Street ADL, Bistro Blackwood, and Nana Malozzi are just a few of the Adelaide eateries he later built. Both Gourmet Traveler and The Good Food Guide recognized Restaurant Arana as Australia's best dining establishment in 2018. Despite receiving three hats in both 2019 and 2020, it shut down in March of that year. Along with Melissa Leong and Andy Allen, he replaced Matt Preston, George Calambaris, and Gary Madigan as a judge on MasterChef Australia in 2019. While writing about Zon Furlow's time in London in the 1990s, White claimed that almost everything he has written about me is untrue in Zon Furlow's memoir, Last Shot which sparked a firestorm of controversy. The number of hundreds of indigenous communities Zon Furlow claimed to have visited was also called into question. Nonetheless, Zon Furlow insisted, this is the story of my life. I've been through the ups and downs of it all, and I still believe in it. There's no denying that some of my writing makes me look less than savory, even under the best of circumstances. Shame, not pride, 
is what I've carried with me from those times, and it was a major challenge to overcome in order to write this book. Lauren Fry, Zonfrillo's third wife, and their four children are his legacy. Thanks for watching.